Amidst growing concerns over food security, China has embarked on an audacious initiative to transform vast stretches of unproductive desert into thriving rice fields. Harnessing the power of hybrid rice varieties, specially engineered to flourish in harsh, salt-laden environments, China aims to secure its food future and reduce reliance on foreign grains. This pioneering effort not only promises to boost rice production significantly, but also holds the key to tackling climate change, desertification, and environmental challenges. Witness how China's revolutionary approach to farming is reshaping the landscape and paving the way towards a more resilient and self-sufficient future. China has taken a big step towards easing its worries about food security by starting a large-scale program to grow rice and salt water. China took this step as part of its plan to make sure it has enough food. Rice is an example of a staple crop that the government has made a top priority to make sure there is a steady supply. Because the country's population is growing quickly, and more people are using the country's few farming resources, seawater rice or saline alkali-tolerant rice can grow in places with a lot of salt, like tidal beaches and other saline areas. This type of rice was made to grow well in these kinds of places. China wants to turn about 66,667 hectares of land that is too salty or too alkaline into rice fields. They plan to do this by using crossbreeding and new farming technologies. The ambitious goal of this effort is to raise rice production by a lot. This seems like a good way to deal with the problem of food shortages that are coming up. By growing rice in areas that were once thought to be unsuitable for farming, China not only increases its food security, but it also reduces its reliance on foreign grains, making it more self-sufficient when it comes to this important staple crop. China's investment in rice production in seawater is an example of a pioneering effort to change the changing conditions and come up with new ideas when things don't go as planned. Because of climate change, farmers all over the world are still having trouble with their crops. This project also helps develop more environmentally friendly ways to manage water because it lowers the amount of irrigation that uses traditional sources of fresh water. China's large-scale seawater rice planting program shows that the government is committed to making sure the country always has enough food and building a stronger agriculture sector so that it can feed its people in the future. China shows its commitment by putting the scheme into action with an eye to the future. Rice can grow in very dry and warm places, which has changed how farming is done in desert countries. The rice plant is very flexible, which could make it a big help in the fight against food poverty and pollution. Traditional rice types often need a lot of water, which is hard to come by in places that are dry. Because of this, it is hard and often not possible to grow classic rice varieties in these kinds of places. But the development of hybrid rice varieties that can grow in harsh desert settings has given farmers in these places new ways to work with their land. These one-of-a-kind types were chosen on purpose to be able to survive harsh conditions like high temperatures, drought, and salt. This means they can grow well in places where regular crops would have a hard time making it. Countries like China have shown that they can turn huge areas of unproductive desert into fertile farms by growing rice in dry, warm places. This success not only gives people in the area a reliable source of food, but it also helps control the growth of the desert, stop sandstorms, and keep the dirt from washing away. Growing rice in dry places is a big step toward making sure there's enough food for everyone and protecting the environment. Because climate change is expected to keep hurting agriculture, it is more important than ever to study, develop, and grow crops that can do well in harsh environments. This will help make sure that the future is strong and stable. The success of these drought-resistant rice varieties opens the door for more advances in agricultural science and the chance of turning places that may seem uninhabitable at first into places where agriculture can thrive. China's forward-thinking approach to farming has made it possible for the country to grow hybrid rice, which has turned huge stretches of unproductive desert into fertile fields. China has been able to do things that were once thought to be physically impossible because they have very advanced farming tools. People from all over the world have praised and thanked this amazing accomplishment. Rice hybrids have been made so they can grow well in the tough conditions of dry, hot deserts. Low rains and high temperatures are two of the things. Because these one-of-a-kind strains of rice can grow well in places with high temperatures, little access to water and salty soil, they are good options for farming in dry areas. China has been able to farm on a large scale in some of its biggest areas because the country has planned and invested very carefully. There have been a lot of good things come out of these risky projects, even though they have been very hard. Rice growing in these dry places has not only increased food production and supply, but it has also stopped the spread of deserts and helped solve environmental problems like sandstorms and soil erosion. 
This project shows that China is serious about addressing food security problems and promoting farming methods that are good for the environment. By turning dry deserts into farms, the country has shown that it is willing to use science and technology to solve problems that might seem impossible to solve. China's success at growing hybrid rice in large dry areas is a sign of hope and an example of how to make the future more resilient and food secure. As other countries face similar problems because of climate change and a growing population, China's experience can help them come up with ideas for a more stable and food secure future. Due to the harsh and dry climate, planting rice in desert areas comes with its own set of problems and requires a lot of money. The process costs a lot of money and involves a lot of different parts of farming. First of all, it can be expensive to buy good land in desert areas because it often is necessary to use land reclamation and other soil development methods to make the land arable. Also, because there isn't enough water in these areas, it's important to use new watering methods like drip irrigation, which cost a lot of money. Also, rice farming needs a lot of fertilizer because the grounds in deserts often don't have enough nutrients to support it. Fees for buying and using nutrients can add to the total. Also, growing rice takes a lot of work, which means that a skilled staff is needed. This means that labor costs are higher, which adds to the cost of growing rice. Also, if you want to grow well in the desert, you need to use equipment that works well in that kind of environment. Growing crops in dry sandy places comes with its own set of challenges, and the special equipment is made to meet those difficulties head on. The cost of maintaining and running this kind of equipment has an effect on the general costs. Even though these kinds of activities are very expensive, governments and individual farmers continue to do them because they know how important it is to increase agricultural output in the fight against desertification and to make sure everyone has enough food. Desert rice production has the potential to pay off in a big way by turning barren land into productive farmland, which will add to the food supply in the area and the country as a whole. This can be done by using new ideas and ways that are good for the environment. Planting rice in the desert has turned out to be a clever and effective way to deal with different environmental problems and keep agriculture in the area going strong. This was done by growing rice in places that wouldn't have been good for growing crops otherwise. China has shown that it is determined to do things that were once thought to be difficult by turning dry deserts into rich farmlands. One of the most important things this program has done is cut the number of sandstorms by a large amount. Sandstorms can cause a lot of damage to the environment as well as to people's health and to buildings. Planting rice makes the land more stable because it brings plants to the area. This makes it less likely that high winds will pick up sand particles, which in turn makes it less likely that sandstorms will happen. That's all for the video today. We will be right back with more such videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.